Hello, welcome to a tutorial video where I'm going to be showing you how to make a 2D camera for your game. This 2D camera will follow the player and have the player centered on the screen. So right off the bat, this is not a framework specific or engine specific tutorial. This is going to be showing the actual logic behind a camera itself. So don't worry if you're not using Pygame like I am, this is going to be a general uh, example for every use case pretty much. And so right off the bat, we have to remove a misconception. Cameras don't exist in uh, game engines or game frameworks. Camera are simply illusions. Even in Unity where you can physically see a camera in your little editor there, that camera is not actually a real camera. It is simply just manipulation of matrices to get the desired perspective of your world. And while it does sound a little bit scary, for a 2D game like what we're going to be doing, it's a lot more simple. It's only a couple conversions and stuff. And so let me go ahead and show you what's going on here before I get into it so you can understand a little bit of what's going on. This is all just boilerplate for starting up Pygame. I'm setting a tile size so it's easier to um, create a grid based tile system and then I'm importing all the images here and then I'm creating my recs and if you're not familiar with uh, Pygame recs are a data structure and this stores the x y coordinates and then the width and the height so I'm creating one for my player here this is where I'm going to be drawing my player and then I'm creating 100 floor recs and I'm doing a nested for loop with the x and the y's to create a 10 by 10 grid of uh, recs here and then what I'm doing here is I'm simply calling the screen.blit method here and what this does is it simply draws the texture at the desired rect x y coordinate. So that's all we're doing for that. And we're doing that for all the floor recs as well as the player. So if we run this here, you'll see what we have initially started up. We have this simple scene with the player and then our 10 by 10 grid of grass here. Cool stuff. So now what we want to do is we want to actually make it so that the camera, the simulated camera follows the player. And for this, we're going to have to de define a couple things. So the first thing we have to do is we have to create an offset, our, our actual player offset here. And for the player offset, we will simply do offset. And we're going to create a new uh, vector two. If you don't have a vector two, you can store it in something like a tuple or a list. As long as you have a um, representation for the X and the Y position, it just makes it easier to have a vector two data structure. Um, so for the X one, we're going to do offset dot X equals and then for this we're going to get half of the display width and in Pygame it's really easy to do that you just do screen dot get width and then divide it by two and then we're going to actually uh, subtract the x position of the center of our target in this case our target is our player so what we're going to do is we're going to do player rect dot center x and but if you don't have this center x which a lot of frameworks uh, don't have you can do uh, the player rect dot x plus and then you can do like uh for example like uh let's say player image dot with get with divided by two here that would also be the center um but pygame makes it really convenient where they have this center x option here which is really nice and then for the y it's the same thing oh uh, we just do offset dot y equals screen but instead this time it's get height and same thing you want the middle of the screen on the y-axis so it's screen dot get height divided by two and then for the uh, player rect we do subtracting the player rect dot center y all right so that is the first step for creating our little offset getting the middle of the screen and then subtracting the player so this makes it really easy to convert for each of these recs here so we want to individually do this and what we're going to do is um we're going to create a new offset here we're going to do a sprite offset this is going to be unique to the sprite so we're putting it inside of the for loop here and this is going to be a new um vector 2 so if i give it a math of vector 2 and for the x we're going to do sprite offset dot x equals offset dot x plus rect dot x and so we'll do the exact same thing for the y so spread up to dot y equals offset dot y plus rect dot y and now we simply just want to draw all of them at this new sprite offset cool 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 so that's all fine and dandy um and now what we can do is we can actually since we want our player to be centered on the screen well instead of drawing it with it the rect itself we could literally just draw it with the center screen coordinates so center the screen copy and paste this into a tuple here which is what pygame uses for xy coordinate and now if we run this we should see that our player is on the screen here all nice and fun now it is a little bit off and that's because um it actually pygame does actually take um, the top left it addresses the top left so what we can do is we can subtract half the width of the image so we can do um player image dot get width divided by two and then we can also do the same thing here where we can highlight all this put it in parentheses and then subtract player image dot get height divided by two and that should properly center it there we go now our player is centered on the screen so that's pretty much it it's only a few lines of code and you can get your entire camera up and running anyways uh, thank you for watching have a good day see ya